So I do want to um, tell you about the sauerkraut uh, that I make. Um, it's a kraut that Luna really loves and it makes me so happy to see her eat uh, really good probiotics. And um, it's so easy to make that I just rather make it myself than buy it at the store. Um, and I guess the, the few things that I want to touch up are the importance of making sure uh, you pack it enough in the bowl where you would see, you will see within an hour the juice starts to rise above the level of the surface and you want to make sure you put something um, heavy so in this case I'm, I'm making some uh, farmers cheese so I just put that heavy jar on top and yeah and you just wait um, I would say you can air out the bob uh, the bottom once a week maybe um, just to get the gases out uh, because it's very firmly packed so there's no really air um, getting in there you don't want that because it'll go bad um, and as the day go days go by you will see the liquid levels go up and the cabbage settles down um, and that's what you want so um, the main rule of thumb is uh, one tablespoon of salt uh, per one kilogram of cabbage. At this point, I really eyeball it. Um, I just simply kind of go based on the weight of the actual head of cabbage. So if you don't have a weight to weigh it, I wouldn't stress it. It's just maybe pay attention when you buy it um, and memorize how much it weighed um, roughly because obviously you know, the core you take out, you throw it out, and it's, that's pretty heavy on its own. Um, and that's really, and really, I like to keep it simple. Um, you can only really just do salt and nothing else, and it'll be fine. Um, I like to add a little turmeric, fresh ginger, um, bay leaf, allspice, or whole uh, peppercorns. Um, but really, possibilities are endless um, you can do fresh herbs dry herbs um, you name it questions um, comment below or send us an email uh, it is just such a good way of giving your body probiotics and it's so inexpensive and um, so good for your gut and you can use it in soups you can just eat it as a side like you would use you know any condiment um, so I'll give you a, an update once it's ready and how it looks um, and how I store it after it's left out on a counter, uh, you know, so to ferment. <laughs>